Hey, hey, friends! Welcome to this week's episode of the Amazon Files, brought to you by Mommy Income. I am your host, Kristen Ostrander, and I want to talk to you about accountability. Yeah, accountability. Do you know that's one of the number one keys for success? Accountability. That can come in different forms. It can come in different styles. But accountability is something that helps you move forward in a very interesting way. You know, even as entrepreneurs, um, most of us are self-starters, self-motivated. Um, you know, there's a it takes a special kind of person to be an entrepreneur uh, because we don't have a boss. We don't have somebody making a schedule, making SOPs for us to follow, telling us what to do, where to do it, how to do it, when to do it. That's the whole point, right? As entrepreneurs, we don't necessarily want to be told what to do. We like our freedom. We like our flexibility. We know what our responsibilities are, or we think we do, and we want to take care of them. And even if you're super organized and have a schedule and have everything, we all fall short, right? There's all, all kinds of things that um, we struggle with in different ways. You know, some of us might be super organized, but in our organization, we're not as quick to take risks or action because something can't be pre-planned. Uh, some of us have fear of failure. And so we don't like to pull the trigger because what if, what if, what if. Some of us um, are so excited about things that we rush through and we forget steps because we're just trying to get things done, trying to check it off the list. So accountability kind of reigns that all in no matter what side of the spectrum you're on whether you're super duper organized and you're always getting stuff done but it takes you forever because you have to cross every t and dot every i 14 times to make sure 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 that it's ready or the ones that are rushing 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 and just like oh just let's get it done let's see what happens just go for it and then there's a wake up mistakes because we rushed a little bit into it either way accountability can help you stay focused as stay accountable, meaning you will give an account to someone somehow of your progress. And it's not a have to, it really just helps you reach your goals. And so this week, I really want to just briefly talk about accountability, and then also show you a way that I've created some accountability, if it's something that you want to need to move forward in your business. So just talking about accountability for a second. Um, think about a time in your life where you were held accountable for something. Maybe it was a job that you worked at and you had a boss that was telling you, you must turn in a report by Friday. That's a measure of accountability. It's, it's not just an ultimatum or a do this or else. It's you said you were going to do this or this is the goal. This is your responsibility. These are the expectations. This is the due date. And then the it's where the rubber meets the road, right? It's where you have to give an account for your progress, your input, your effort. And oftentimes as entrepreneurs, we don't have a checks and balances system. We are our own system, which means we can get in our own way and we can overthink ourselves to death or we can overwork ourselves to death or we can be chasing the completely wrong goal. And so it's really helpful sometimes, even as entrepreneurs, to have a little bit of accountability and some gut checks. I know that earlier this year when I went through the Goldman Sachs program, um, there we met weekly, but then we also had what they called a growth group, uh, aka accountability, aka meet with each other, discuss the homework, discuss the tasks, discuss your sticking points and what you're going to do, or simply just co-work together doing things in a way that that support one another to answer questions to get through stuck points and to get stuff done. And not just to get it done for the sake of getting it done, but giving it done because you have a goal. So accountability in my life has always brought success. I remember when I first started mommy income, and I first started uh, doing live shows and teaching people, uh, I had I, I decided to do a weekly show that automatically built in some accountability. I couldn't just, I mean, I could just not do it, but then there's accountability there as well because there's consequence when you say you're gonna do something and then don't. 
And I'm a person of my word. And so because I'm a person of my word, I know that accountability keeps me going. I know that if I tell you I'm going to do a weekly show, I'm going to do a weekly show until I tell you different. And so whether I'm prepared or whether I'm not prepared doesn't matter. The show must go on. I am a deep accountability person, number one, because I would never stand someone up. The first perfect example is the gym, right? The gym. I don't know. Some of you guys love the gym. Some of you hate it. <laughs> some of you have a gym or membership and don't even know what the inside of the gym looks like. Hmm, that's probably me. Um, but here, yeah. And with Planet Fitness, it makes it very impossible at $10 a month to like ignore your gym membership because it's $10, right? But the idea here is this. The gym alone is an accountability. Even the $10 a month that you could play, pay to Planet Fitness isn't enough. But what if you had a standing appointment every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. with your best friend or the trainer from there who is free, but you have to make an appointment and meet them? It's accountability. You made an appointment. You said you were going to come. You put it on your schedule. Chances are you're going to show up, right? Right? I mean, life gets in the way, sure. But for the most part, that's it. Now, if I did that to myself and I just put it on the calendar and said, oh, I'm going to the gym on Wednesday at 9 a.m., Wednesday at 8.45, I'd be like, eh, just not feeling it today. Not go. But if I was meeting a friend at the gym at 8.45, no matter how bad I felt or any excuses I wanted to come with, I wouldn't quit. I wouldn't not go. I wouldn't call them at the last minute and be like, sorry, I'm not coming. I would save face and just go, right? That's accountability. Forcing yourself to do something that's out of your comfort zone or is scary or is difficult for you, there's absolutely no shame in it. It's actually a help. It actually helps. I don't want to do the thing or I'm scared to do the thing or the thing is really hard and I need some extra training and help. Accountability is your friend. So I want you to think for a second. I want you to think of a time in your life when you decided to hold yourself accountable for something with someone else, whether it was meeting someone at the gym or perhaps a book club, a club, book club kind of forces you to read the book, right? Well, some people say that some people only come for the wine. I don't know. <laughs> um, but if you're in a book club and you're in a discussion, you don't want to be the only one that doesn't know about the book. You're one of the ones that's going to show up and you didn't read the chapter or the couple of chapters. You have no idea what you're talking about. Chances of skipping are highly likely. So think about a time in your life when you held yourself accountable or someone else or you were in some sort of accountability relationship, whether it was a boss or a teacher or a mentor or a tutor or at the gym or a book club or something you said, I am going to commit and I'm going to do this and I'm going to show up here and do this. And there's someone there that's going to at least side eye you, if not, if more, actually bring it up to you that you didn't show. because. We're more apt to do things because other people are holding us accountable than we are just for ourselves. Is anyone in this boat with me? Anyone? Yeah, I thought so. So how do we solve these problems? How do we get accountable? Well, first, you have to have a goal. You have to have a something. Now, I use the word goal, but I could use any other word I want to. You have to have something you want to accomplish. And it doesn't have to be something big or crazy or anything. It's just something. I want this. So it starts with that decision. So I'm going to assume, because you're sitting here listening to the Amazon Files podcast, that you probably have an Amazon store and that maybe you've heard of this thing called wholesale bundles that I teach. <laughs> Most of you are my students, so you have heard of it. And maybe you've been struggling to put a bundle together because there isn't accountability, because there's no one standing there saying, what step of the framework are you on? How are you stuck? How are you moving forward? What did you do today to progress into a bundle that's coming in the future? See, accountability brings success. That time that I just asked you to recall in your own life of a time you had to be accountable, how did that thing work out for you? Did you read the book? Did you show up at the gym? Did you lose the weight? Did you... Um, meet the goal at work or whatever it is that you were doing? How did you hold yourself accountable or have somebody else? And how did that work out? 
if you showed up and was account and were accountable, did you accomplish your goal? My guess is yes, you did. When I first started in, in e-commerce in my live show, the accountability was telling people, I'm going to do this once a week for a year, live, live. So whether two people show up or not, I have to show up because I said I was going to be live at a certain time. I put a link out there. I told people to come. I invited them. That's accountability. That might be self-accountability. It's still there. When we have to give an account for what we're doing, we will succeed more often. This is proven. It helps us. Accountability helps us move forward. It is not a... Um, you better turn in your homework or there's going to be some sort of negative consequence. It's more of, I really want to do this. I struggle to do it on my own. I just need a little help. I just need a little accountability. I just need a little push out of my comfort zone. Y'all, I'm really good at holding people accountable. Not in a bad way, but in a way because I know what they want and I know how to help them. And sometimes the help is just knocking on the door. Hey, how's that thing going that you're working on? What did you do to move yourself forward today? And it doesn't have to be hours and hours. I think we beat ourselves up all the time about not doing enough. When really, if you're doing something, something's better than nothing. Something you can be accountable for. You can say, what 15 minute hustle did you do to move your business forward today? And that's all you have to do. Because you know what? A 15 minute hustle today, plus one tomorrow, plus the next day, plus the next day is hours of progress. So we can procrastinate and do nothing and just be like, oh, I don't have time for that or I can't do this right now or I'm spinning my wheels or I'm stuck or I'm just walking around the mountain. Or we can say, you know what? I took 15 minutes and I did some research and that's good for today. Tomorrow, I'll pick up where I left off. Progress is still progress even if it's slow. So I have had many clients come to me and say that they've been stuck and frustrated working all alone or without structure or without a, a schedule. I've had people ask me, well, what kind of schedule do you follow for your FBA store and all this stuff? And I'm like, hmm. So earlier this year in January in the hub, we did, uh, I don't know if you guys know what the hub is. If you're not a hub member, we have an Amazon files hub membership where we meet twice monthly. First of the, um, once a month, we do a training, some sort of mini training. I either do a training or we do a group training together. Um, this past month, we did a um, bundle brainstorming. So everyone brought an idea. And then between me and the group, we went through Merchant Words and Amazon and we derived the best bundle idea we could from just that one idea. And we got through like four or five. So everybody in the group got five or four or five different ideas, plus the one I brought to the table. And we all got to kind of learn from each other's brilliance and so everybody walked away with new ideas of like, oh i never thought of that or this is great or i talked through the components and then someone else was adding and then we're like oh that's a great idea over here the idea there was accountability i told everyone before that come to the table with one idea that's all and then we all kind of brainstormed together, talked about different things brought some different um insights to the conversation and boom Within an hour, everyone had all these different ideas. That, my friends, is accountability. We do that in the hub. And then we have monthly group coaching sessions where everyone can come with their questions and we answer them and we celebrate the wins and we talk about the yucky stuff that Amazon uh, does to us that we can't help, but we can also help each other. There's different things that we all try when we're dealing with Seller Central and their quote unquote help desk or their their seller support <laughs> i laugh at that because it's less than supportive half the time um but it's also accountability being part of something people in the group are succeeding because they're showing up for themselves and they're showing up for others they're accountable they also pay money which helps us to be accountable do you know that you're less likely to participate in something that's free because you haven't invested in it even if it's a dollar you're more likely to show up for something that you paid for than something that's just free, something that was just given. You know, if there's something free on YouTube that was supposed to start at nine, but you didn't pay for it, you're okay trickling in at 9.05 or 9.10, or maybe we'll catch it later or catch the replay. But if it's something that costs you, say, 100 bucks, 
there's no way you're missing that because you're like, well, I paid for this. It's like an, an innate um, thing inside a lot of us that we don't want to waste time or money or any of that. So investing in yourself and investing in accountability will keep you accountable naturally. Your credit card statement comes after you swipe it. That's accountability. <laughs> it's like, oh, you bought this. Now it's time to pay for it. Um, I'd like to help with that. I'd like to help with that. Why? Because, okay, first of all, have you guys read the book? I know I'm always reaching into my drawer. You seen this before? Anyone? <laughs> it's my book. And in there, there's actually a chapter about a whole chapter. I found it worthy to write an entire chapter about accountability in this book. Have you read it? I think you should. If you like to listen, you could go to Audible and get a listening copy if you have Audible. But there's a whole chapter in here about accountability because it's so important for your success. Doing things alone or doing things willy-nilly without a plan. Now, I'm not a super structured person, just going to be honest here, full transparency. Um, I like to kind of be flexible and a little bit fly by the seat of my pants and a lot of bit of, of scheduling. I have a team. I have to adhere to certain schedules. I have a family and I can't just do whatever I want whenever I want. Of course, most of us don't have lives like that. So we have to live in some sort of structure um, even if it's a flexible structure. So I enjoy a flexible structure. I do have a certain office hours, certain days of the week that I'm working and doing certain things. And I decided to build that into what I call a launch a bundle in a month, every month. And this is what I taught in the hub back in January. And then I heard from one of the hub members, Megan, recently. So it's been about seven months now. It's like we're into August. Um, so full a full seven months. And she reached out and she was like, Okay, so in January, you know, you, you talked about this goal setting and how to build a bundle in a month. And I decided I just got to go with it. And she's like, it changed everything for me. She's like, I have been building a bundle every month since then. I had now have six bundles since the end of January because she followed the structure that I gave her. It was, it's not super structured. It's like there's one task per day for five days. And it breaks it down into what do you do every day until you launch a bundle? There's a task list. And so one of the suggestions from one of the clients was like, oh my gosh, could you maybe do these live, live classes? Like even, not just the checklist is, is accountable, but there's not accountability in there. It's just kind of a checklist. If I do it or don't do it, no one's kind of peeking over my shoulder. So after speaking with so many clients and talking to a few of them and then the suggestion of, hey, is there any way we can sort of do this live so I can quote unquote turn in my paperwork, you know, sort of thing. And accountability is so important and what was needed most. So we gave it some thought and realized, sure, we can have some accountability. So I wanted to tell you that now this is a full disclaimer. I'm sorry in advance for those people that are not Wholesale Bundle students, um, but what I'm about to announce is actually only for Wholesale Bundle students. So if you have taken the Wholesale Bundle course, specifically the brand new one that was just released this year that has all the new information in it, then this challenge is for you. But we are going to be running a Wholesale Bundle challenge for students and the reason is simply because it's going to kick you off the fence right it's going to help you stop wavering between overthinking and analysis paralysis and i kind of sort of have a bundle i really want to but i'm scared of this or i'm scared of that or i just can't pull the trigger or whatever the reasons are maybe you've had a bundle and it's failed and so you're gun shy and you're not sure the wholesale bundle challenge is designed to push you off your comfort zone, but don't worry, I'm the parachute. I'm not gonna push you off the cliff and not give you support, right? So I've created this wholesale bundle challenge. Now, what is it? First of all, it's only for wholesale bundle students, those who want to create a bundle and list it for sale on Amazon within 40 days. Yes, 40 days to your next bundle. 
and what is it it's about five weeks um i don't want to call it five five weeks just sounded weird but it's about 40 days um the first week is really just going over the curriculum and talking about what we're going to be doing and expectations and getting into it and then the last and final week we'll be wrapping it up and celebrating that you guys all launched your bundle so it's going to be like about five weeks um it's one hour live weekly calls accountability calls complete with mini trainings but also help you focus in creating and launching a bundle by the end of the day. It's very structured. We will have homework. Um, you don't need to really you'll have a workbook that you work through. So there'll be checklists and places to fill in your blanks. And actually, we're, we're basically we're going to school, y'all. You, you have to be a wholesale bundle student already. Why? Because this is more accountability. It's now implementation. You've taken the course, you understand all of these things, and you are ready to select products, put them into a bundle, buy them and launch them on Amazon. And we are going to walk through that in 40 days or less with one hour weekly calls that are live. And who's it for? It's for wholesale bundle students, those who want to participate in a live challenge to really just launch their bundle. The challenge is, can you do the work? Can you get it through? Now, one of the things I will tell you right up front is that brand registry or brand approval is required and if it's if you don't have that you can still do the bundle challenge but when it comes to listing your bundle you're going to have um, sticking points if you don't have brand approval you're going to need some sort of packaging that amazon says yes you can list this brand if you already have brand approval or especially brand registry then you're set to go we are not going to be creating logos and talking about packaging and that sort of thing in this challenge. This is all about ideas, bringing a bundle to the table, ordering components, figuring out the research, figuring out if it's profitable, and then getting it listed on Amazon. Okay, so that is the goal. So if you don't have brand registry or brand approval, um, it's at your own risk because at some point you're going to have to do that and you're going to have to have your bundle launch now if you don't have brand approval or brand registry you can list your brand under generic i don't suggest that but it is possible it is a workaround if you decide you don't have a brand and you just want to go through this so um, the schedule will be to be announced we're actually going to take a vote on uh, the best time and date because i want as many people to be live as possible that's the whole accountability you're going to show up live your name is on the roster. Your name is on the attendance list. Now, I'm not going to come and poke you and say, you didn't show up on week three. That's up to you. Launching a bundle is still up to you. I can give you the curriculum. I can give you the homework. I can give you the workbook and I can show up live, but I cannot do the work for you. So if you're ready to do this, now let me, let me give you the timeline, September 18th through October 16th. So at, by October 16th, y'all, mid Q4, it's before Christmas, it's before Thanksgiving, you have time to build a bundle and launch it before that. That's why we're running the challenge now, so that we don't have to be scared of Q4. Q4 is coming. So let's do it. Let's do it right now. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to launch the, uh, the Facebook group. Watch the Facebook group. That it'll be to be announced on when, when it comes. Um, the day and time we'll vote on like there's a couple of day times and one evening time or two evening times to vote on want to make sure as many people as possible can come live so I'm going to be flexible in my schedule but again I have other things going on too so it's going to be limited so I hope everyone can come live there will be replays you can always watch it you can send questions um, before during and after uh, the challenge is again for you to be able to launch a bundle that you're coming up with with guided help support weekly homework weekly checklists it's to kickstart you if you're really just kind of on the fence and you have a couple ideas and you're just not sure or you've been running into sticking blocks or you're just finally ready to get this thing done and give it a try the goal is using the provided curriculum we are including weekly tasks homework a checklist a schedule and accountability you will launch a complete bundle on amazon by the end of the challenge so 40 days to a bundle. Now it might not be your first one, but if it is your first one, oh, that makes me so happy. Um, we're gonna have like a graduation day. It's gonna be great. Um, and I can't wait to see you guys face to face, talk with you um, on the calls. So you're gonna come prepared, come prepared to talk. You don't have to be on camera. Uh, you don't have to be on that, but be prepared to share ideas and come forth with, with your homework. So we'll have each week, we'll have mini lessons, we have a Q and A session, go over a couple of pieces of the framework that we're going to be working on. And then it's working. We might even intersperse another 
um, co-working time during the week. What that means is that we're just going to turn on Zoom, we're gonna show up and we're going to mute ourselves. So you will see me, but I'll be working. So it's called co-working. We talk and say, hey, it's almost like water cooler. What is everybody working on? Everyone gets like one minute to say, today's hour I'm spending on this. And then it's just, we all go silent. We're here, but we're working and we're accountable to what we're working. And at the end of the hour, I come back in. I hope everybody got everything done. I got this much done. It's good to see you. We'll see you guys next week. So just co-working, what does it do? It keeps you accountable. It keeps you stop procrastinating and start doing. So this is what we're going to be offering. Again, it's for Wholesale Bundle students only. If you are not a Wholesale Bundle student, but this appeals to you, I encourage you to become a student and you can do so by watching our free training at mommyincome.com forward slash subscribe. That's how you're going to get into our, our Wholesale Bundle system. You can also go to mommyincome.com forward slash system and buy it outright then if you've been on the fence about that. If you go through the subscribe link, you might just get a little bit of a discount at the end of that video. So just, just saying. Um, but we want to help our students. Um, that's one thing about me that maybe most people don't know, or if you do know, I hope you know, that I am so passionate about seeing you guys succeed in this business, in, this, in whatever business you want whether it's this or something else. If y'all are doing something else and you're like, oh, I don't do any Amazon anymore, but I still listen, awesome. I just wanna help. I just wanna serve and support you in whatever dreams and endeavors you have and pull out the best of you. I know a lot of you sit alone and you kind of wonder and you have questions and you don't know who to talk to. So you go to Facebook, but then you don't know if those people are right either and you're just not sure. And this is a way to just get accountable and keep moving. And I'm making it extremely affordable. Now, when I say extremely affordable, I know that some people's budgets are non-existent. So nothing is affordable. I understand that I have to meet the needs of everyone, but it's $197 for the 40-day the challenge. I really just want you guys to put that first bundle out there. And this is part of the accountability. Y'all, that's less than a coaching call for five weeks. You have five weeks of training and accountability and Q&A less than a cost of one hour to sit with me. It's a steal. And there's a reason because I just want you guys to be accountable because accountability will help. It will help you. So I'm inviting you to the challenge. If you're a wholesale bundle student, if you're not consider becoming one and joining us, you have several weeks to get through the course before we start. That's why I'm announcing this soon and early. Um, again, mommyincome.com forward slash challenge that's going to be where you're going to join the challenge if you're a student if you're not a student you want to go to mommyincome.com forward slash subscribe so that you can get the course i'd love to see you in there i can't wait to help hold you accountable but most importantly i can't wait to see all of these bundles that are going to be launched in 40 days y'all that's just that's like next week <laughs> i mean no, it's really 40 days but if you think about it if someone says hey if you do all this work, now listen, here's the thing. I can teach, I can show up and give live calls, I can answer questions, I can push you and prod you and ask you, hey, I can tag you and publicly shame you. No, I will not do that. <laughs> um, but I can do all these things, but I cannot do the work for you. So you need to know that you can launch a bundle in 40 days if you follow the plan, if you follow the steps, if you follow through. And the accountability is, I see you. I know who signed up. I know who's supposed to be here live. I got your name. I got your number. And don't, I, I haven't hesitated to reach out to people in DMs and be like, so how's it going? Ask a client. They got my number because I'm going to text you and ask, how's it going? Send me pictures. What are you working on today? That's a random text that a lot of my clients will get. I'll just be like thinking of Catherine or I'll be thinking of um, Judy or I'll be thinking of Grace. I'm like, so what are you working on today? Hmm? How's it going with that bundle? How's it going with this? I think of you guys often. The accountability will help you. And I'm here to help you. So mommyincome.com forward slash challenge if you want to build a bundle in 40 days. Using the framework, using accountability and a workbook and homework and checklists. That's not for everyone I know, but it is definitely for me. When I can literally see a list checked off, I'm like, ah. I did something. 
Um, the goal is really to get you to launch that bundle in 40 days. Get off the fence. Get out of your comfort zone. You know why? Rarely do great things happen in that comfort zone. We have to take a risk. We have to uh, put our money where our mouth is. We have to invest. We have to commit. And think about all those words I just used. A lot of people don't like those words. Commitment, invest, work. Y'all, that's the only way to accomplish a goal. It's going to take work. There's no such thing as an easy button in business. Trust me, if there was, I would have hit it like 10 times today. <laughs> Reality is you just got to do it. You got to do the work. So I'm here to help you do the work with a smile and encouragement and help and resources and answers. But you got to show up for yourself. So are you in? I hope you're in. I hope to see you guys in the bundle challenge. And for those that can't for whatever reason, or you're not a student or you're not ready yet, get some accountability somewhere else. Just decide to be accountable, maybe with your bestie, but maybe not with your bestie. Definitely not like with your mom, you know, because your mom is one of those just like, oh, it's fine. Someone that's going to let you off the hook. Someone that's going to be like, oh, everything you do is great and we love it. No, you need somebody that's a little bit tougher, that's a little bit non-biased to say, okay, that's a good idea, but what are you going to do about it? What action are you going to take? Someone that might not put up with a lot of your excuses because they care, right? That's accountability partner that you need. Somebody that actually cares, but cares enough not to let you get away with excuses, right? Because we all want to have those excuses of why we're not doing this or why we're not doing that. But in reality, you can't deposit excuses. You can deposit a bundle, a checked off list a workbook that you did the work in and wrote down and were accountable. So I hope to see you guys um, when we start our bundle launch. Again, if it's something you're interested in, please go to the Facebook group and make sure you vote on the days and times that we're going to hold the bundle challenge because that's to be announced. So if you're like, oh my gosh, I want to join the challenge, but I can only come at Wednesday night at eight or something like that, or, or I can only do evenings or I can only do during the day or whatever it is, let us know because we want this to be tailored for as many people as possible. Of course, majority is going to rule. Um, because we, we can't cater to just the one person who can only do Sunday at noon, you know, um, but we want to be um, accommodating to as many people as possible as far as daytime or evening. And so we are flexible on that, but we want to serve you. But get in there and look at it now and get to it. Check your inbox. You're going to be getting an invitation if you're a student. If you're not, again, um, become a student because then you can join the challenge and you can have a bundle before the holidays. It doesn't have to be a holiday bundle, by the way. Um, it can actually just be a bundle that you're working on that you decide to launch at the time. Everything sells in Q4. Most things. Um, probably not Easter stuff, but I don't know. I haven't really tried. So all that to just say that you're invited to this challenge because accountability works. And I want you to see for yourself. So I know you guys can be anywhere else doing any other thing. I know it's still summer, so go out there and ha enjoy the, what's left of the summer. But Q4 is right around the corner and we're going to get you ready to launch your bundle and have your bundle launched um, by mid-October. So if you're in, join us, mommyincome.com forward slash challenge, and we'll see you in the bundle challenge. Bye guys.